This was the procession of law enforcement vehicles today accompanying the hearse that was carrying the body of a Lafouche Parish deputy. The deputy died in a car crash yesterday during a chase. WGNO's Amy Russo is here with more. Amy. Susie Kurt Sergeant Nicholas Pepper had been with the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Office since 2007. Sheriff Craig Weber says the loss has been traumatic for his department. He was thorough. He was complete. He was approachable. That's one way Lafouche Parish Sheriff Craig Weber described Sergeant Nicholas Pepper. Pepper was a family man committed to his work in keeping the community safe. He was just there um, when you needed him, and you could depend on him to do it to the best of his ability. Around 5 a.m. Sunday, Sergeant Pepper was actually off duty, but heard about a chase in Homa that was making its way into his jurisdiction. So he stayed on and helped set up a perimeter around the fleeing suspect. When the perpetrator accelerated, <clears throat> heading away from the stationary position, heading north, um, and the officers, the, tra you know, the radio traffic indicated he was back fleeing, they practically and logically got into the car, the police car, I'm sure with the expectation that he was going to drive past them and then that they would re-engage and hopefully get him stopped somewhere. The sheriff says the suspect rammed into the side of Pepper's unit, creating a, quote, non-survivable situation. Literally compressed the entire cockpit and shoved it into the car behind it, creating um, just god-awful damage. This was a murder committed using a vehicle as a dangerous weapon. Several agencies participated in a procession for Pepper as his body was moved to a funeral home in Thibodeau and a makeshift memorial for the fallen hero. A tragic, uh, unspeakable uh, loss of life. Tonight, we know the suspect remains in the hospital recovering from the crash. State police have taken over the investigation. A funeral is set for Wednesday morning. We'll have the details on when and where on our website, WGNO.com. Susie Kurt. Amy Russo reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Amy.